Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus, and uh, as promised, I am back here with another episode of this beautiful, fun, interesting, and in uh, challenging game. So thank you very much, everyone, for all of your support on the first episode, and that was absolutely amazing. There's been a lot of good comments like, oh, please continue with it for uh, several episodes more. That is perfect, and uh, I'd like to do that, but let's, uh, let's make a little uh, compact here. So if... Um, if you like it and if you want to see more, hit the like button. That's how it always goes. If there will be, uh, now it's New Year, so I won't be recording anything uh, on New Year's Eve, obviously. But uh, then afterwards, then I'm going to look. And then if there are at least a thousand likes, then I know that there's at least a thousand people who would want to see more. So that so uh, then we'll continue. Let's uh, try to do that as a fun little challenge. So uh, you can be part of of uh, helping us get this, uh, this, this video being visible to more people. I hope that would be interesting. Anyway, let's uh, dive in. Uh, I have deliberately in the first episode, there are a number of things that I just completely ignored because I didn't want to sort of overwhelm you with lots of different systems. But that means we are in trouble right now and have to respond quickly. You can see here there is a not enough maintenance. That's one of the things. I have some some things that I absolutely want to, uh, to show you today. I want to show you about maintenance. Uh, that's going to be one of the first things we're going to do. And then I want to talk about Unity, this uh, weird uh, weird thing that's kind of unique here. I want to talk about exploration, getting the ship out there. And then the biggest thing will be the new production chains and look at conveyors so that we can actually build something, some cool factory parts. So that will be the first challenge. And there are a lot of things that are the first on the list of things to do. And uh, one more thing that's also on the first list of things to do is a beacon. A beacon is strong light helps other refugees to find you, your island and you. So let's build it out here. It doesn't have to be out here, but let's build that one and actually prioritize it. So this one gets out first. It needs 30 construction parts and 30 copper. That should be pretty easy to make. And uh, that will allow us to get more population in. You can see here we have 90 population out of the 120. They are stored here in these storage containers. And we have a food for 18 months. I don't know. I don't think I actually have enough food for supporting more than this. I could be getting in trouble. So I probably should make another farm. But I'm at least first making this one. We have not enough workers. That is not a big surprise. And that means we have to shut down something in order for this one to work. It's only one person that needs to be here. But uh, wanting the workers, I knew. Uh, let's figure out something that we don't want to have here. We could shut this down once this one is built. Then, uh, oh right, it's actually... Yeah, that's kind of the problem. I will send another one over here. So we have two, two uh, excavators working on coal. I will have two excavators working on iron as well. And aside from this, not really much more. And here, then we. this is a good opportunity to talk about Unity. Unity is, hmm, well, how does it work? It get, basically gets, if you have enough food, you get plus one. And then you have things that consume Unity. And as you have a bigger population and they are, they are food well fed, if they, uh, later on, if they have electricity, if they have water, and if you have some other things, then you get, like, get Unity. And Unity can be used to do things such as, speed up production here quick deliver things so that you, instead of waiting for this uh, we just get in here this one for example so I, i'm prioritizing but if i had enough in my storage and they were just waiting for vehicles to get here i could just press click quick deliver and then it would immediately get built but that's not really the case this one is working so once it gets all the way up i'm going to disable this so that we can free up those workers and get those uh, back in action that's Super important because it's gonna, they're going to be three months until this one uh, actually comes in. No unity, no, well, it's still constructing. See, now I can do quick deliver if I'm being patient, but on the honestly, the dust two are here, so there's no reason to do that. So we'll just wait for this one to get in. Then we get the beacon up and running, and I will have this one up and running as well. Yes, beacon ready. Perfect. Beacon will now start working. I'll just have a look at it. This one. If I pause it, we free up some resources and that should be enough resources to work here. I will get one more in here. Now, one more thing that's kind of important. You want more more mine, more vehicles than that. Basically two vehicles for each, each productivity. Now let's talk about maintenance or about, uh, no, we'll talk about beacons and then we'll talk about maintenance because these needs to be built anyway, but it's gonna be taking a bit of time before that gets done. 
So the Beacon works expecting 16 refugees in less than three months. Basically, every cycle or something, we'll get some refugees in, they'll bring some stuff with them, and that's how we work. We expand our population for the time being. Luckily, we are also getting closer to building the housing so we can get that. And the reason why I'm also building this one, it's not because I need more food market, but because I want this to be a a single square of of uh, of settlement. This settlement, if I build it, you can see that it has to be built in, in sort of one grouping. You can't build it here and then something else somewhere else. That's actually a really nice little thing. Now, these are the two more important things. Let's talk a bit about the vehicles because vehicles are super amazing in this game because they just do whatever is needed. You don't have to assign them things where you assign them to sort of these locations here. Um, but then aside from that, you don't really need to do anything, uh, anything there. Uh, shoot, that is too many there. Because you can always see this one is, is idling here. What um, What is making a lot of, uh, what is the cost of it is the fact that they need fuel the way they work is that they will go back here because I don't have a fuel depot yet. They will go back here, pick up some fuel. Uh, I did this part previously and that's incorrect. If I do that, then trucks will never come pick up from this location. And I actually meant that they were running out of fuel. But what I could do is I could, this one uh, just needs a bit of, of stuff. I can also do repairs, but right now we are kind of in, in need of, uh, of all of the production we have up here from these two small ones. These are super important because that's what gets us the rest of the build done. That one is getting done. Yep. Yeah. So basically what I want to do now, I want to build these two so we can get some vehicle repairs. You can see on the vehicles here, they are starting to decrease on maintenance. Well, they're actually pretty good on maintenance right now, but they will gradually decrease. And once they, uh, they break down, then they will stop working. So before that happens, we have to make sure that we built this and that we can support it. So right now I'm in bit of a bit of a pinch because I need more workers in order to keep everything running. I need more trucks because I'm now, I've also just assigned more out here to these uh, smelting mining locations. I need more uh, maintenance because everything is running out. So uh, that's a lot of things that we need. So let's just uh, get things built here and then we can uh, come back once we have this one ready. Ah, we got the new population. That is perfect. We now have enough and I can re-enable this one again. And I can then build a few more because I think I need that. And also we can get get this out of the way because then now I'm going to use this one. So all the food will be moved over there. And then I can make a nice little square. That is great. I'm going to need I'm going to need more. Uh, this one will continue to work. Yeah, four months. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I am going to wait for this one to be built so that we can get a more stable situation. And then we can look at the next thing that we want to do, which is going to be exploration or repairing here and uh, moving out with the ship to explore right so here's a very interesting problem and something that is likely to happen is that we are actually in a potential death spiral and it's not good so uh, i need to do something here so here's the deal i have 31 concrete left or construction materials left if i look at these they can't produce them because they are missing concrete slabs i can't do concrete slabs because well i do have a few here but that's just the storage and I don't have uh, <clears throat> I don't have the means to produce those, and that means I need to actually really hurry up and make some some concrete slabs. So concrete slabs are made in a concrete mixer, and that takes forty. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. So this will take a lot of things inbound, and uh, yeah, I I could just I think I'm just going to build it like really. Uh, basic right now and I'm just going to enable all of them but it's only going to be the last one I can do because I do not have I need some I don't have gravel and I don't have slag crushed and I don't have sand but either way I'm going to need some aggregates the slag crushed or the gravel so I need that um, yeah and that means we need a crusher as well and the crusher will be it's over on this one crusher and that will be turned I'll build, build it like this that one so right what we have here now is I'll enable both of them 
I actually I'll only enable the slack one. So I need 30 construction parts and I need more construction parts. That means I have I need to find some construction parts that I can I can recycle. That means I need to destroy something in order to uh, in order to get some more parts. That's not great. Well, I can probably destroy this one. I hate doing that. Absolutely hate doing this. But I'm going to have to do it. That means we are losing some some maintenance because we just found ourselves in a bit of a pinch. So hopefully this one will get us a few of this. I'll get 10 construction parts left. That's not a lot. That will go over here to that one and be starting to work here. Uh, what we also need is water. So we are going to have to find a way to make more water. That is a rain water thing here. I'm going to make it out here. And I absolutely want more of these, but I can't support that here. And that absolutely should be putting into a storage, a liquid storage here. And never all the way up because it needs to be able to support some things going in here. So it needs to go here. And then it also needs pipes. So you can see the problem here. I have run out of this because I wanted to sort of uh, tutorialize it and then just not overwhelm things with the with get. If I build it like this, then they can't. The trucks have to go around. That's a bit of unfortunate, but right now, hmm, there are big necessities here. Uh, why is that not actually the case? Okay, so that was actually be a flat product. So that's a conveyor that we do not have yet. So I need to find a way to build this. All right, we got the concrete mixer up and running. That was an absolute disaster. And this is one of the cute things about this game, which is uh, makes it deceptively difficult. You can easily get into positions where you have uh, destroyed your, your base or put yourself in a position where you can't recover from. Now, there are a lot of ways that I could have recovered from this one if I uh, had sort of a bit of foresight on the planning part. I did not, unfortunately. At least we get a few of these concrete slabs. Uh, we got a few... And those concrete slabs can now uh, keep working. They will go out here. Unfortunately, I had to delete like a lot of things. Uh, actually, I don't need to delete this one anymore. Oh yeah, you can't uh, you can't undelete once you've deleted something. I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. Waiting for materials removal. Yeah, but they don't have anywhere to to go. So I had to unfortunately like delete some of my good stuff here, and that means and now I'm going to be in a rebuilding phase now that I have this one producing again. It's not really producing much because I only have have it when it rains, and then it's I'm only happy when it rains, and then uh, that's that's now I have to wait basically for the next uh, rainfall to get in here. But I should probably make one another one of these, but I'm not sure I I I can, but I really want to because that will allow me to get a bit more water in here because that's uh, this is kind of the stuff that's keeping me from. Yeah, from expanding and being happy and all that. So let's get this one. And uh, what I want to do now is I will need to rebuild some of the things. <laughs> I had to destroy a maintenance depot. I had to destroy my... It's it's always a disaster. And now the food is low. Ah, man, this this game is deceptively difficult. So uh, I'll be uh, I'll be needing to stabilize. And then we'll be take a look at when we get to the point of, of doing these parts, parts of things here. So the core part of uh, getting our base operational again is uh, basically the most important part is to make sure that we have uh, a constant production of construction materials. So now that we have uh, our concrete mixer operational again, uh, we've also built a little storage where we can put any excess so it will always keep working. But I don't think that's going to be a problem because now I built three electric assembling machines. That also means that I can probably take this one out. So I'm going to be setting the imports to off so that it'll just use whatever is remaining and then uh, continue stuff from here. But what I want to do is I want to make a production facility that uses the new that researched. Here we have now flat conveyors, but you can see they use rubber that we can't produce, but we have to trade for it. And it requires some, uh, yeah, some construction parts too, which I can't do yet. So what we need to do is we will need to work on ship repairs so that we can get that. But 100 construction parts, we had issues with that before. So let's uh, make sure that we uh, we get that. We we now have enough construction parts working for uh, for us to do that. 
What I also want to do is I want to build a little trading depot because that will allow us to trade if we find some uh, friendly uh, village out in the world. So let's just build it here next to it so we can build that. That's another. Well, it's only 10, but uh, it's, it's something. I will be taking one more vehicle. Uh, let's see how many vehicles do we have. We can get an overview here. I have 14 in total. Seven are available to sign. Six are assigned to mining operations. That seems about right with the mining operations we have. And I'll assign one more to wood things because uh, now this one is actually starting to use quite a bit of wood as well as we what we have over... Oh, I'm just going to turn it down. This is speed, normal speed. Food looks okay-ish. I mean, we can't really go further up, so I've paused this beacon. We need to get this one uh, working, so let's uh, get the get the ship repaired, and then we can uh, we can get out into the world. Ship dock is now ready, so we have our ship designer that we I'm not really going to use for anything, but we can schedule this one for repair, or we can send out. But let's schedule for repair. One hundred twenty-four. Iron, it's a bit much, but hey, we got a lot of iron because we, uh, we've we been stockpiling it and we have a good production of it. So let's just repair the ship before we're sending it out into the world. Here we have a trading with a village, but we... Oh, we do have a village. So we can trade with this one. And then we can... See, this is actually why we should have built this a bit earlier. Because then we could have just traded some wood for some concrete slabs and uh, be all good. Uh, anything else we want to trade? Yeah, for example, rubber is something we absolutely want. And we can trade a few of these. That will get us just a... It's a nice, simple way to, to do things. Here's the... This is the only way we can get rubber at this point. So we are going to get this one. It is almost there. And then we can send out the ship. And then look at one other mechanic or weird thing that... Oh, come on. Waiting for materials. And here are the materials. Now we are ready to tutorial world exploration. We don't need that. We just go to the tab and... That means now we have a ship. It can go out and explore each of these locations. Uh, at first, I thought it was... It, I, I don't know. I, it, I like it in a, in a sense that you bring it out here and explore. Why are we not able to explore? Not enough crew. Ah, we have going to assign some crew. Boop. Now I don't have enough workers, so I need to assign... Get this one back again. Probably need some more. Uh, since I'm not using the vehicle depot right now, I can pause that. So I still have three workers available, and that should be enough. We can now go out and explore this one. It'll go out and then the, the ship will head out. It's a pretty cool uh, idea. It uh, uses some fuel and then when it has is done exploring, it comes back, refuels. So now we also have to consider that we have more fuel demand going on. So what that works, we can now see up here. It's on the move and that progress bar will, will go up. What I want to do in the meantime is uh, I want to start working on this because what I actually want is let's have a look at what I want to do. I want to make like some inputs here um, maybe like this and then one two three and here one two three it's actually pretty damn overwhelming yeah, okay let's not do that that's gonna be way too much there and there. These will go into into here. They need three locations. So what I will be making this one will be for iron. And then it'll be for wood. And the last one will be for the stupid concrete slabs. There. These three will go into this location. And I'll then outbound from this. Okay, now it. Whew, this has to be in a special way. It's about the same size. So one, two, three. I wonder if that's enough. It's gonna look nice if it is, but I'm working on transport balancing because what I want is I want to bring things out here into a balancer so that some goes into be stored and the rest goes on to build the Mark II of these. Because I'm gonna need more of this inbound here on the other side. Uh, maybe have two of those. How will I do this in a meaningful way? Basically what I want to do is I want to do the construction parts too, which means I take the construction parts one and then I bring in copper as well. 
So that could be... I'd really like to get it to look like this. That would be so nice. One, two, three. And then... One, two, three. And then basically have an input and an output here. Which will be exactly like this. Oh, location explored. That's nice. I'm going to be using way too many. I wish I could find that location here. Come on. That will be inbound. And this thing here <clears throat> will now be from this location. It's going to be one, two, three. Okay, so this will be highlighted as construction part two. This will be construction part one. This will be copper. So this copper will go out and into these two. Which way are they turning? They're turning the same way. All right, let's look at the explo location. So we got more population. That is excellent. Plus we got rubber and copper. Those are things we can't get anywhere else. And then we just send the ship home. So this is a good way for us to get more resources. It also is a good idea for us to expand here. And then we also definitely want to make sure that we expand out here and our food production farms and this is where i made a little tiny tiny mistake because even if i had all of the annoying trees taken care of i wouldn't be able to place it here i would have to sort of go up here and then they're no longer aligned yeah i really want to place that this one here harvest i also need to harvest these two as well so go on trees go away because other alternatives for placing this is if I build it here, they can again see there's no not enough room for it. Or I can build it somewhere else and then regret it later on. But I really want to have them kind of next to each other. Or maybe at this point, I just place it anywhere that I can just to make sure that I have it. So, yep, that's it. We're just placing it anywhere. That is absolutely a mistake. But um, it's, it's still that one and that one. However, I'll pause it and I'll pause that because we are definitely not going to do that. So what I need to do now is I need to make all of these belts. But unfortunately, these belts require, as you can see, they require construction part two. And I do not have construction parts two. Uh, that is not enough workers. And we just got a population increase. Perfect. And our ship is back home. It cannot unload cargo. Shipyard is full. Really? Huh. That's interesting. So I... That's really weird. Yeah, why, why do we have coal here? Hmm. Keep empty? Not enough housing. Settlement. Okay, let's also make sure that we do not increase here. Now we have homeless population. That's just everything wrong with this uh, settlement. This this thing is... Um, this game is a, it's deceptively difficult sometimes. Do I have the opportunity to make it? Yes, I do. Uh, missing input yet. Yeah, that's because we just don't have enough inputs for this, but it will it'll get here. Uh, what I also need to make sure is that our power is not going uh, going crazy. So let's get this one. Can I send you out to do some more? Yeah, I think we can send you out and explore some more. That's interesting to do some more exploration, and then I will be waiting a bit just so that I can build up a storage of these construction parts too, so we can build a more mature. Uh, automation cycle here. I really want to do that. So this seems like a good time now. We have uh, built a few of these stockpiles. So let's start making some uh, real automation here. We get a flat conveyor. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take from here and go straight in. And in here. And in here. So that helps a lot already. I will take these up to probably set all of these to just i don't want to ever pick up from these locations but i do want to keep them happy here now next one i sure as hell hope this works i will go from this location and i go one level up and i go to this location and i go to 
this location and then I go in there and in and in here and then I go back and merge in over the bridge and inbound so that's good now comes the last one oh, that's actually has to be from starting from this location let's actually go zoom in as much as we can so we can build this nice little manifold here it's going to be on this one here that one and and here i'll bring it to exactly to can i even bring it to this one i don't know yes i can okay then i do Even though it's not necessary that everything is completely identical here, then, uh, well, you know, you know, I'd like that. That's not it. No, that's definitely not it. That's definitely not it. Damn. Ha. From here. And then two up. It's an inbound. Yes. Bound and from this location and then it goes all the way in and here so what happens now is that as soon as this one gets built which is, you can see it's getting built pretty quickly we'll start seeing things coming in here that means i will not do truck import anymore for the, this one that will already now really reduce the amount of, of trucking needed because now they just need to get into these locations and once that's done It'll take care of the rest, but it gets better than that because we now have also the balancer. So I'm going to do a balancer here and let's see. Oh, they are inbound on both. Let me see, so it goes. Is that actually correct? This one looks like it's actually slightly off center. Is that in line with yeah this is that is kind of in line but that one seems a bit off doesn't it well it's the other ones off as well so they they are the same kind of off i will build something here i just want to make sure that i do it right <clears throat> i go from that one that one and now there will no longer be any pickups either. Oh, that's that's not the right. That looks bad. Delete that. And then I can take the other part out here, and then go beat it inbound. Let's uh, let's try to do it at. It doesn't matter where I do it at. Inbound and inbound. Then the outbound for this part, not here. You go in and you'll also go, oops, go in here. So that's the, uh, and now I'll get. This part, uh, let's see, that will be. And then just go one up. here and then go this location and maybe go to that one and oh really 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 okay so that's apparently not working from here it can't get in but could it get in from if it was standing on top of this one. That is so difficult to place it on top of, but not that one. And then they can't do it. No. Okay. So uh, before we get any further, I have to delete this part, this part, this part, this part. 
and it wasn't connected there anyway. But hey, look at that. We can now disable all trucking outbound for this as well. These are now completely working and then we now have a nice location here that we can pick up lots and lots of construction parts. So things are getting a lot easier right now. I will get flat conveyor. Why is it not connected though? I don't like that it doesn't connect. Okay, now it is, it is connected. Good. And I will need to make a bit more space then. I'll try here. And then I'll try from this one. Maintenance 2 Depot. Sweet. Okay, so with this being done, we of course we don't have copper, but look at all of this beautiful thing here. Now we have fully automated and the trucks will now only need to go into these three inbounds and that inbound. And then nothing else will actually need to be done. This one has a lot of things prioritizing coming on the X. There's an X and an O here on the side. I like that idea. But hey, look at that. We get copper inbound and we have now this one. I will never do any imports and I'll never do any exports from that. I'll never do imports and never do exports because they will always go into the unit storage. And that's where I'm going to pick up things from. Yay, look at that. That's a first little optimization. I know it took a, quite a while to get us here, but that's because this is kind of the first one we have to do because when we have that, we can actually build it. Uh, what I can do now is I can go to... Oh, you're docked. Oh, that sucks. Go out there. I can also do some trading. Unfortunately, the only way we can get more copper right now is the expensive way of, of using our construction parts. So, you know what? It's time to build a copper facility out here. And that shouldn't be too much, uh, too much of a trouble. We can easily hack that together and then build a little copper facility out here as well. Uh, do, how's our... Uh, yeah. So, let's uh, let's see if we, if we can apply what we've learned so far. We're going to need to start by getting a mining tower. I don't know what the pointing thing is, but I like to point it at the stuff that I want to mine. Get a location. We are definitely going to need a few more of these. Two of these. One, two, three, four maybe of that, because it's so far away. This one. Edit area, sure. Let's get the area from down here. Something like this, looks good. And I will then excavate because that's the next part and I wanna do it in level, hmm, why is it level two here? I wanna get level, yeah, level two. Good, that's a good chunk of uh, stuff to do, great. And unfortunately we're gonna to have to bring it all the way back here. I think, Okay, G is apparently the science part. I'm going to start taking this out because I want to build it at this point. Exploration complete. What did we get? Hey, we got more population. Excellent. And you go back. Now, if I go further out, then I'm going to start running into uh, pirates, which is not good and not something we're not ready for right now. Here we have an oil rig that we can repair. And uh, we found that while I was just idling a bit. All right, let's have a look at what we want for our copper facility because that's going to be the next thing i'll take these two out let's build a copper facility here and uh, that will also be built entirely with with belts and all that stuff that's going to be where we are we're getting ready for it um yeah i can start using some of that area let's build one and let's build another one as well and then prepare it for maybe having more than two, but at least. One. Doesn't feel right, does it? Two, three, four, five. I'll do three. And then I sure as hell hope this is, it's definitely not aligned. One, two, three. This will do only copper. This will do only copper. And what do we then need inbound? Well, that's going to be more tricky. We are going to need, on this inbound, we are going to need copper ore and coal. So that needs to be 
on the storage part, we now have a loose storage here. And no, I think I want both of them on this side. Okay. I I can't handle the fact that it's rotating counterclockwise. It it just my brain does not accept it. By default. And then we have the U-shaped conveyors. That's for this part. Goes in here. And goes in there. That means this one should be copper. And the other one should be coal. And is this one working? It is. Can I assign something? Yep. Get the next one. Ooh, I think I might have built it too close. Didn't I do it too close again? I think I did it. I didn't think I did it too close. Let's try it. Nope, it's all good. It's all good. Of course it is. And I just trapped one of my vehicles. Luckily we... Oops. There. You got trapped. I'll just do recover. So that was the easy part. Now I have three outbounds. The molten thing is the easiest one. That's where we just have these canals. Molten canals. I'll just get those out. So that's pretty simple. But the other parts are a bit more tricky. Because I'm going to need both the slag out and uh, the pipes out. Since pipes are cheaper, then I don't want to do... I'm, I'm going to do pipes highest up. Which means I'm going to do pipe... Go one, two up. There. This one. And then go back to... That's so weird. Compatible port at the end. Huh. So what if I go out to this side and then go... Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll get all of that out. And probably... Let's do the smokestack and try to get the smokestack to align to the other one so that things look nice and neat. Like this. <clears throat> then... We'll go back to the piping. And then this one got misplaced, unfortunately. I'll replace it. There. And back to the pipe. Go from... From there and back in there. Good. This, nope. This puff of smoke goes from that one and into... Right, so that was one thing. Then we need the slag outbound. Then that is a normal... Is that a flat conveyor? No, it's a U-shaped conveyor. Yes, it is. This has to go one up. Blast furnace needs transport for more than... I know, I know, I know. And, okay, so I guess I should start by having that one. That's where I want to get it in. We'll get the U-shaped conveyors here. Get one up. And get all the way over to here. Oops. Oh, it's that one. And in. From here, let's go one up. And that's two up. And then... Right, what are you up to? Uh, you're, you're, that's the canals thing. And then we want to go over here by the blast furnace. I will now get a metal caster. Which will... Be getting things in. So now I know exactly where I can build it. It's just much easier this way. Two metal casters. And... There. Get that I can hold shift to get that going and then I'll go the molten ch channel inbound 
And inbound. Uh, shoot. All of this is then wrong. That one. Molten channel coming from the lower one. Has to be the same. Good. Now. Then we need to be getting stuff outbound. And let's see, this will be... Oh, it's definitely not going to do with the iron part here because it's hooked up to a... Thing. So that's built. Then what I'm going to get outbound from this is... Uh, this will be... 8 per 40 seconds times 2. So it's 8 per 20 seconds. And then I'm going to go into a, the electrolyzer. Copper electrolysis needs water. That sucks. So I get my impure copper in here. And then I need to figure out how to do water in here as well. Um, I think I'm going to leach the water from the other part. I'll do something like this. And then the water. I can leach the water from this one. It's not great, but it's kind of the only water I have available right now. Okay, so we got it built. And then the only thing remaining is getting the outputs automated as well. Should be pretty simple as well here. And it will then be built entirely at ratio. The only thing remaining is to build a storage box on the outside for this. Here. And then build the conveyors, the last bits in. Sure. And you found yourself getting caught. <clears throat> so all we need to do, low diesel. That's something we will have to fix in an upcoming episode, but that's uh, definitely not what we want to deal with right now. Look at all this beautiful thing. This looks amazing. So that will be basically, let's see, this one. This is coal inbound. Absolutely get coal inbound. Let's keep a go here and that gets inbound. Yes, please. Here we will get, uh, what is this, slag? And I'll try to keep this empty. That's not the point of this. This is one, yeah, slag. Slag should be kept empty from here. And then I'll have this one as a copper facility. Let's uh, get this built and then see how it works once everything is up and running. So here we have the beautiful final design of our copper plant. Now, uh, lots of interesting things happened as well. Like some things uh, we ran out of fuel as it want to happen. So I had to upgrade my fuel plant as well in a bout of panic. And you can see that things are still just trying to recover from that situation. But what I really want to show is that all of these cool things that you can do with belts, having set that up for our automated uh, construction parts build as well as our automatic mining as well. So I am super happy about this. And that means we can now go into more advanced things if we want to go further. So as I mentioned in the beginning, if you want to see more, then be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment sections and I will be continuing this. I will also be streaming it more in the new year on uh, Twitch. So do come on over to Twitch TV slash Nilaus and streaming on uh, at most days at 8 p.m. Central European time. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, of course, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I'm always welcoming more people around here. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.